The first beta of the new iOS 17 is coming out in less than two weeks. Now it's actually 12 days from today and we're very excited to get this update. But updating the iOS 17 beta will be quite different this year and of course a bit more difficult. So in this video, I will show you guys the five things you need in order to update your device to the new iOS 17 beta. Let's first take a moment to thank Mobile Clean by Wondershare, the sponsor for today's video, an amazing app that lets you have more free space on your iPhone by cleaning up stuff you don't actually need. It has some amazing features like the ability to use the smart clean feature which will detect stuff you don't need and automatically let you delete them from your device. You can clean up your contacts or your calendars and again remove things you don't need or quickly organize your photos simply by swiping away the photos you don't need and of course swiping write the photos you want to keep. It will detect similar photos, duplicated photos and also screen recordings and screenshots and let you clean them and also use a time range for which you want to use to actually see the duplicated stuff and remove them from your device. You can use mobile clean to also compress your photos and videos and save a ton of space on your iPhone. And it also offers a secret space where you can keep your secret contacts and photos and have them protected with a passcode or your face ID. So go ahead give it a try you will find the link to this app in the description of the video now first of all of course you will need a device well not every device it looks like the older iphones that support ios 16 won't be supported even though we're not sure about that yet we had mixed reports regarding this so the first report said that the iphones with the a11 chip won't be supported by ios 17 and that includes the iphone 8 the iPhone 8 Plus and also the iPhone 10. Now these would be the devices that will be cut off this year if this happens. But again, we had like mixed reports regarding this and we also had a different report saying that all the devices that are supported by iOS 16 will also be supported by the new iOS 17. So one thing is certain that the iPhone 11 and newer will be supported. So if you have one of those devices, you will be able to update to iOS 17. Otherwise for the iPhones with the A11 chip, we're not sure yet and most likely they won't actually be supported by iOS 17. Next up is the update that you have on your device. Now previously you could just install a beta simply by adding a profile and update to that beta. But Apple has changed the updating system to the beta version whether that's a dev beta or a public beta and actually iOS 17 will require you to have at least iOS 16.5 on your device. So if you have iOS 16.4, you won't be able to actually update directly to the new iOS 17. You will have to install first iOS 16.5 or iOS 16.6 .6, and then you will be able to update to iOS 17. So make sure if you just want to update right away that you have your device at least updated to iOS 16.5. And as I said, Apple has completely changed the ways we update to the iOS betas from iOS 16.4 and forward, you won't be able to install a profile on your device to update to a new beta. You will actually need a dev account if you want to update to the dev beta. So if you have a dev account, you will simply go ahead and select the dev beta right here and you will get iOS 17 beta 1 on the first day when it gets released. Otherwise, you will have to wait for the public beta, but we're gonna talk about that in a second here. So for the dev beta, you need the dev account, which you have to pay $99 a year to have that account. And all you have to do is sign in right here. If you have a different Apple ID for the dev account and a different ID which you use on your device, you can simply tap here and just add the other ID which you have on the Apple dev program in order to update. You don't actually need to completely change your iCloud account on your device to just update. So you will need a dev account in order to update on the first day to iOS 17 beta one. Now another thing you need to do in order to get the option to actually download the dev beta is that you need to use the feedback app. Now I've seen a lot of reports from people that have a dev account, but they don't see the dev beta option under settings. Now what you will need to do is go ahead and find the feedback app. So on the feedback app, you will actually need to sign in here in order for the dev option to be displayed on the settings app. So if you go to settings and all you see here is the public beta, even though you have paid 
for a dev account, then just make sure you go to the feedback app. And here, all you have to do is just make sure you open the app and sign in with your Apple ID. And once you have done that, you will actually get the option to update to the dev beta. And last but not least, we're talking about the public beta. Now, this will be used by most people this year because you won't be able to update using a profile, which you could easily do on previous year. So to update to the public beta, all you have to do is actually go ahead and go under settings, under general, and then go software update. And right here, make sure you just choose the public beta. If you have it on off, of course, you won't receive an update. So just tap on public beta here and you will actually need to wait for this most likely five to six weeks after the release of the first beta of iOS 17, probably somewhere around mid July to the end of July. That should be the date when Apple releases the first public beta. Now, after you have selected this right here and you don't actually need to add a new Apple ID, this will work with every Apple ID. You just go ahead and select that and you will get the option right here to update to iOS 17 public beta one once it's released. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are the five things you need to know before you try to update your iPhone to the new iOS 17, which again is coming out really, really soon. And that will be at WWDC 2023 in 12 days from now. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.